Hello citizens and welcome back. This is our match reaction to Wolves 2, Man City 1 in the Premier League. So make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe as well. And look away now if um, you don't want to hear any criticism because, wow. So let's jump into it. And I'm going to be honest, this was an embarrassing game from start to finish for us. And it drags on from the Newcastle game midweek. Look, the game started, we made all the changes in the world. And that midfield and that forward line it's just a mess at the moment. And look, we started with Diaz, Akanji, RK Walker with the back. Fine. Edison in goal, whatever. In midfield then was Nunez, um, Kovacic, and someone else. I don't even know who was in the middle. It, it was Alvarez. And then Bolden on the right, Docker on the left, Haaland in the middle. And we started off well. We settled nicely. We had a few chances. Haaland nearly got on the end of a cross. And that was it. That was a game done for us because we offered absolutely nothing after that. And Wolves, as mentioned, they sat back. They played with five defenders. They sat deep. They played narrow. They all defended in the edge of the box. They counted and they took the opportunity. It was an on goal. Diaz on goal. 1-0. But honestly, we offered absolutely nothing for all the chances we had. Well, for all the shots we had. For all the possession. For all the territory. I can't give anyone in that team any credit whatsoever for that game. Everyone was appalling and i think it all comes like i said from the newcastle game where we let newcastle score first their fans get on top of it and we just don't react to it and we offered very little did the same here wolves got in front their fans then got on board and they celebrate every tackle every challenge every bit of time wasting and we, we just didn't react to it and we we didn't give anything whatsoever and we we, we didn't deserve anything from that game in our midfield today Alvarez, Nunez, and Kovacic, it just didn't work. Let's be honest, it didn't work. It, we had very little, essentially. And the ball, most of our attacks went down the left-hand side with Doku. He was dreadful today. Um, he gave nothing going forward. He didn't help Ake going backwards, which didn't help Ake because Ake got battered today by Neto on that left-hand side for his pace. Ake couldn't live with him at all. And Doku just wasn't offering him. Like, he wasn't often, he, he wasn't going back, he wasn't helping out. They'd hope he jogged back, didn't try back properly, and that left Ake exposed him all the time down the line. And we got punished for that. Multiple, multiple occasions we got punished for that. And again, in midfield, Kovacic, you know, he's not a central defensive midfielder. He's uh, like a Gundogan type of player who's going to float in between spaces, offer a bit of creativity, hold on to the ball, you know, and break up counter-attacks when you can. He didn't do any of that today. He did nothing whatsoever, Kovacic. Yeah, he held on to the ball a couple of times. Yes, yeah, I saw him pass the ball, but often nothing. Alvarez, really, Alvarez was hindered by the fact that Folden on the right-hand side get drifting into the middle. In an already packed space, Folden were drifting from the right, and he would get in the way of Alvarez. He would get in the way of Kovacic. And in fact, Wolves' first goal came from the fact that Kovacic tried to play the ball forward to, I think, Alvarez or Haaland. And Folding got in the way of it and it bounced through three and Wolves were the one that benefited from it. And Folding just didn't stay out on the right-hand side today. He wanted to drift into the middle, try and help out. And the space was just so condensed that we couldn't do a single thing. So that's why all the attacks went down the left-hand side with Doku, who, again, did absolutely nothing because we didn't have a right-hand side because we only had Walker on that side, you know? So it was Walker's responsibility to attack and defend completely on his own on the right-hand side. And he struggled again against Huang. And whoever else was on that side for them. And in the middle, like I said, multiple occasions. I mean, Akanji looked our most dangerous player today. Akanji playing one twos on the edge of the box, having shots from 30 yards, trying to cross the ball in um, towards the end of the game. Diaz as well. I saw Diaz on two or three occasions try and get on the end of through balls because there's no one there to pass to. Everyone's been marked. You got Harlan being marked by three players. Who, by the way, Dawson played a phenomenal game for them today. Probably man of the match. Alan was my mark by three players, so he couldn't do anything. When he got the ball, he was trying to feed through to Alvarez or Folden or Doku or whoever. But again, because they were all pushing into the middle and there's no width, there, there was just nowhere to go. There was, so all our shots ended up being outside the box pretty much. And any shot on target was just poor and just easy for Star. And that was the first half. That was just the first half. It was a mess. And then at half time, we made a change. We brought Bob on for Nunes, which I agree with because Nunes was dreadful in that first half. He did nothing. He looked nervous. He looked scared, Nunes, in that first half. So Bob comes on in the second. He's a little bit quick. He tries a few things. And again, we, we didn't really do, do much with the ball. 
Alvarez scores a really good free kick. And I said at that time, you know, he's got to take one of these chances. And he does. And it, it was a great free kick. Top corner. I know Side got his hand to it, but it's still a good goal. And you're hoping City settle after that. That our defence settles, but we don't settle at all. And they come on the attack. They counter again. We don't deal with it. Another counter attack. You know, and again, like the Newcastle game, we did absolutely nothing. So that we 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 had the ball, we had the possession, we had the crosses, nothing. We we gave up. We 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 did nothing. Doc, you got shifted on the right hand side. He somehow looked worse. Um, Folden again did nothing because he was playing on centrally on the left hand side. Came Grealish came on too late. Came on with less than ten minutes to go. Um, but yeah, absolutely zero, nothing. And I think the problem lies in that central midfield where we got no balance, we got no ball winners. And we've got no one who can create anything because we can let's settle without um, De Bruyne or Rodri, but we can't do it without both. And today we had we had both missing, obviously, because Rodri's thing, and we just looked poor. We, we, we didn't have a central midfield. That's what cost us today, essentially. And another thing that cost us, and I can't be the only one that thinks it, that every single goal we give away is exactly the same as a counter-attack. It's pace. And how many times were we exposed through pace today? So many times and they're counter-attacking. It's Wolves four years ago when they did the double over. It was exactly the same way, you know? It's exactly the same goals we're giving away. Counter-attack, pace, but that's what we're vulnerable at. And last season, we learned that we sit the defence back a little bit. We don't push up to the halfway line because when we do, we get punished with a ball over the top or ball through the middle that we can't keep up with them. And today, what do we do? We push up to the middle and we get punished. But last season, we were stopping the counter-attack because we weren't pushing so high up. So why are we doing that again now in desperation? And we saw it against like Brentford last season, uh, uh, the Etihad, when we were desperate for a win after we just equalised. And they hit us on the break because everyone's pushed high up and we can't live with it. You know, we, we see it time and time and time again. And I'm so bored that it's saying goals given away because we can't live with pace. I'm so bored of it. Um, so yeah, we, we didn't learn our lesson. We got desperate. We tried to get a second and it looked like Wolves were going to get a third more than we were going to get a second. Now I could argue and complain about the referee only giving six minutes of injury time at the end of the game when that should have been 12 or 15. You know, everyone else is getting 10, 15 minute injury times. We're getting five and six, but we never looked like score. We weren't going to do anything with it. And like I said, I think Wolves would have just got a third if it went on any longer. So yeah, dreadful game, bad performance. Not a single player can come out. Then they played well in that game because they didn't. The tactics went out the window. The talent's not there. We got no central midfield. Our defense was exposed time and time again. And yeah, what can you say? I mean, it doesn't fill me with confidence going into the Arsenal game. It really doesn't. We're going to get hurt in that game if we don't sort that midfield out in quick and how he's going to do it. I have no idea. But we need to get this performance, that Newcastle performance, out of our system quickly. Because if we don't get it out of our system by the Champions League, if we go in this Champions League game and we get beat in that game, oh, I fear for the Arsenal one. I do. I fear for it. If we get beat midweek in the Champions League, we're in big trouble. Big, big trouble. And you can call me doom and gloom. You'll say we'll fix it. Oh, our squad's too big. Our squad's this and that. What squad? What squad are you looking at? Because again, you look at the players that were coming off the bench. Phillips. Phillips is not the answer for us. Phillips did nothing again for that central midfield. All the players rotated in. Nunes. Who's Doku replacing? Because Doku's not better than Grealish. Doku's not better than Folden. I mean, he was today. But that's not saying much about Folden's performance. But, I mean, our, our, our squad isn't good enough. When our first 11's played and they played well, that's fine. But when people are rotated and things change, we just look. Yes. Yeah, come with time, I'm sure. I'm sure Doku and Nunes will be good and Kovacic will get better. I'm sure of it. But right now, wow. Um, we cannot afford, again, against Arsenal. If we go behind against Arsenal, we're in big trouble. Because I don't see us pulling in the back. We've got some tough away games coming up. And that's the thing. When, like we saw against Newcastle, like we saw today, when we go behind and the crowd get behind the opposition, we struggle hard. We really do struggle. Because uh, they're playing like their lives depend on it. And we just look desperate at occasions. That's what it looked like. Desperation. It's not good enough. I said that's the match reaction. I could run on, but I'm going to save it for the play ratings. Keep an eye out for all the play ratings. Because I tell you what, I don't think I'm going to rate anyone higher than a three. I can't see it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Tell me I'm wrong. Please tell me I'm wrong. Bye-bye.